Welcome to the fourth of our interview for the Masterclass Global Actor for Peace. I'm really grateful and glad to welcome today Judge Dimitri Dedov, Judge of the European Court of Human Rights, elected in respect of the Russian Federation. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Judge Dedov, uh, I would like to ask you a question that I ask also to Mirjana Lazorova Trashkoska, that uh, um, was one of our guests yesterday, and I think it would be interesting to have your opinion about that as well. I would like to know what is your understanding of the role of an international judge of the European Court of Human Rights? It is an interesting question that you can compare the, the different views. Uh, you're in a very good position. <laughs> I worked with Mirjana uh, for many years. We worked in one section, so we worked just uh, shoulder to shoulder. And of course, uh, she's a very, very excellent and a great character, the real fighter for human rights. So this mm -hmm. is what maybe, uh, uh, as I understand, the ideal judge and the ideal um, group of persons, the ideal team which is on the front line uh, combating, uh, combating for the uh, fundamental rights and freedoms. And um, <clears throat> I think this is the, uh, the very important role to establish international standards which should be uh, uh, acceptable for all countries. All countries are very different. They have their own culture, their own uh, history, their own traditions. So the international uh, uh, court, international institution should be very, very careful to um, uh, to establish these standards so that they would be acceptable for all. And it happens. Sometimes there are, we call it, compromises, but anyway, uh, uh, some compromises are very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And this brings me somehow to my second question that is really related to the topic uh, um, of the lecture you gave uh, today at our masterclass. Um, what is the role of a non-state actor like the European Court of Human Rights in society in transition in a pacification perspective? What role can uh, the court play in this context? I think that uh, the role, of course, to establish the peace and to promote the peaceful life, um, for example, uh, when you impose some standards, how the authorities should do. Um, um, most of the standards, they refer to the procedural safeguards. So procedural is always <coughs> makes the process more uh, uh, I would say uh, uh, more legal, less emotion, mm -hmm. emotional. So to to convert this emotional conflict into uh, the uh, 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 public debate mm -hmm. on important issues, and to uh, that the parties could learn to maybe to uh, speak to each other, to listen to other, and to understand. This is. Even if we talk on, on, uh, uh, talk, uh, on the same language, or even native language, as you know, the parties some, sometimes, but not sometimes, but many, in many uh, 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 occasions, uh, they don't understand each other. So I think that's very important that we, uh, uh, we understand <coughs> what should the guarantees should be and that the people should be respected. And I think that uh, uh, our court is very successful in this mm -hmm. because I see, I see that the authorities are more cautious, uh, more respectful in respect of ordinary people, and uh, the whole situation improved enormously, mm -hmm. enormously. Because initially, as you remember, when the convention was created, it was the fight against dictatorship, totalitarianism, so very, very serious violations international violations, and now the system completely changed, and the whole, I think, um, idea completely changed. So this is the idea to bring um, uh, more peace into the life of the society. Unfortunately, we have a lot of, still a lot of problems, which we have a lot of conflicts, and by the way, let me say that 
the, this opportunity, that the problem is that we have too much weapons uh, uh, sold and uh, uh, and uh, we still have ordinary weapons, not not uh, nuclear. Ordinary weapons is the most serious problems because of the ordinary weapons. Uh, the thousands of people die today, mm -hmm. not because of nuclear. Thank you. Um, George Dedov, what would you consider uh, among the greatest success uh, of the court, especially in consider of the Central European countries? Perspective. Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Mm. Uh, you mean the transition and the changes. I think that, of course, um, uh, the role is very important when the countries joined the convention and then they, that was the, the principal point, they received access to this knowledge mm -hmm. uh, of um, organization of democracy, organization of the um, process, how the political um, power should function uh, and uh, in the state to protect uh, 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 ordinary people's mm. lives. I think this is the access and the desire, was the desire to develop. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they were motivated, all these countries, they were mo motivated. And I must say that um, uh, also there is an um, impact on uh, Western countries mm -hmm. because they, 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 they are not um, uh, uh, some sort of frozen, in the frozen situation. They're also developing, mm -hmm. they're also developing. And it is interesting to see, for those who are a little bit behind, to see their future, <laughs> they, they, what, what they can come to, uh, the, the, the situation. And it's interesting so that uh, you can, you see the mistakes or some, some uh, irregularities and this is the opportunity to, uh, the, to resolve these problems beforehand. Let me, let me just say about your uh, master class uh, uh, course and uh, I'm very, very happy and uh, very pleased to be invited to participate. I think that this is very, very important that you uh, do in your, at your university is, uh, um, because I thought that and it is very, very um, uh, helpful and useful for students so that they meet with the practitioners, uh, real actors for peace. I'm not a real actor for, for peace, maybe no, no, not a very effective actor, but I try. Of course, I'm always serious thinking about the, the this uh, um, uh, uh, condition and uh, for, for condition for organizing a peaceful way, and I thought I hope that that uh, I thought to myself that maybe some of the students will sometime after they, they will become a judge in the European Court of Human Rights. <laughs> Who knows? It's a wonderful wish. So thank you very much to Judge Dimitri Dedov for having been with us today. And see you at the next appointment of Media Lab and the Masterclass Global Actor for Peace. Thank you.